What's going on guys? It's Alex from the Golf Magic Channel here. Today I'm at the wonderful Knoll Park Golf Club. I'm testing four very new, exciting irons. Mizuno have released their new JPX 921 range from the JPX Tour to JPX Forged, Hot Metal, and Hot Metal Pro. They're all a different variation of clubs. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit some balls, just see how each line feels, and then put it through the Skytrack launch monitor and see what numbers I get out of them compared to other numbers I've got previously. I'm also gonna put them up against the Mizuno MP20 and MP20 HMB range. So if you're in the market, from a Zuno iron, you'll be 100% sure which one you should choose. Let's see how these perform today. First, let me hit the JPX 921 Tour. Now before I hit them, let's just go a little bit into detail on the looks of these clubs, because these are absolutely stunning. They're quite similar to the TaylorMade P770 actually, but they've got a little bit more of a thicker top line, but in terms of looks, they do look pretty similar, and I'm blown away by these. I have hit the JPX 919 before, but these are a little bit of a step up. Now, let's talk about the tech of the irons as well. There's not too much difference in the tech here compared to the JPX 919. Now what Mizuno have said is the stunning new JPX 921 Tour maintain its predecessor's surprising fusion of precision with stability from off-center strikes. Now even thicker behind impact for enhanced softer feel with tall refined short irons for smoother turf interaction and grain flow forged in Hiroshima in Japan. So there's not too much difference here but let's see how I get on with this and see how it performs just on the range. Yeah, they feel pretty much what I expected from these. I didn't actually hit them very well. You can't really see the, uh, the strike pattern. I'm, I'm not gonna show you, but pretty much exactly what I expected from a forged JPX 921 club. Really nice feel, really nice flight as well, actually. A little bit more spinny than what I expected. So I'll be interested to put this up against the Skytrack launch monitor and to the actual numbers too. But that felt really, really good. Quite forgiving as well. I'm trying to compare these to, so like the, the TaylorMade P770, P790. They're less forgiving than the P790s, but what I kind of feel is I think they're a bit more forgiving than the P770s. And for a kind of a tall club, that's quite nice. See, that was <laughs> no, still went okay. All right, let's put this in the uh, launch monitor. Interesting, okay. So I was getting about 170 for my seven iron distance, which is quite low in comparison to other irons that I've tested. Now I'm going to put the lofts of this club as well as the other JPX 91 lines on the screen now to show you the difference because I think there's about five degree difference between the tall and the hot metal. So there is a massive gap there. It's almost like a one, one and a half club difference, which is quite funny. So this isn't too surprising there. Obviously it's tall, tall lofts, um, but they felt great and with some dispersion. So really, really nice. Now, who would I recommend the JPX 921 Tour to? Obviously the lower handicap player, but I definitely give them a hit if you're off that kind of just creeping into the double digits range. I don't think I'm the best kind of ball striker, and that's obviously what these are targeting towards. But my dispersion there was pretty much spot on, of course, apart from the shank, but we're not gonna talk about that. So these feel better than most irons that I've tried this year. I'm not gonna say they're the best feeling because I haven't done any proper specific test yet, but these feel pretty much a 10 out of 10, which is obviously isn't surprising for a Mizuno, but with this, let's now see how the next iron performs, which is the JPX 91 Forged. So JPX 91 Forged, this is an interesting one. It's right in between the hot metal and the JPX 91 Tour. So it's a little bit more of kind of the in-between club. And you can kind of tell that by looking down. It's not that different to the, um, to the 
poor version, but there is obviously a little bit of a thicker, uh, thicker top line. Now actually looking at it, it still is really nice. Not as nice as the uh, tour version in my opinion, but as you can see, the, the, it looks superb. And even just from any angle of this club, it looks really nice. I love the new design for the 921 version. I just love everything about it really. So let's quickly talk about the technology involved behind this new club and what's been added to it. So this version of the JPX 921 is actually the version in which a lot more technology has been added to it. So from the tech side, Mizuno have said, initially applied in Mizuno's hot metal irons, Cromoly has made the crossover to a Mizuno's forging with staggering results. The fastest ball speeds Mizuno has ever produced from a fully forged iron, a treat for both the sensors and the scorecard. Again, grain flow forged in Hiroshima in Japan. So that's quite interesting. So they're promoting faster ball speeds in this one. So let's see how this performs. actually prefer this to the JPX 91 tour. No, that shoots off the face, that really does. And I'm not too surprised, obviously they've got promoting the faster pull speeds and it has a bit stronger loft of the tour, but it really does go miles and I'm hitting it more or less in a five yard circle there. So I'm really interested now to see how this club performs on the Skytrack launch monitor. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to put the figures on the screen now and you can see there that I've got considerably faster ball speed and a massive increase in distance there. My average in the previous 921 tool was around 170 yards. I'm averaging around 180 to 185 yards here. Now, it must be said the spin's a little lower and it's rolling out a little bit more, but that's a massive increase compared from a tour club to then a forged club. Strike pattern was pretty decent as you can see. A bit better than the tour, but dispersion pretty much exactly the same. So who would I recommend these clubs to? Absolutely anyone. These clubs go absolutely miles for, um, for a club with a pretty thin offset. Definitely not a player improvement iron, but you can see with the stronger lofts and what they're saying is increased ball speed, it does really well and it feels so forgiving. Like I can tell when I hit the middle of the club face, but I had, did hit one bad shot there, my most recent shot, and that still went 183 yards for a seven iron. So that's no complaints there. So if I'm going between the JPX 921 Tour and the 921 Forge, in my preference, as a low single figure digit handicapper, I actually picked the JPX 91 Forge, which is quite strange to be honest, but maybe the JPX 91 Tour are more meant for the really low Cat 1 players into the Tour, like Brooks Kepka, let's say, and these are meant for people who need a little bit more forgiveness and a bit faster ball speed, which I would definitely take every day of the week. So with that, with that being said, uh, let's now go on to the JPX 91 Hot Metal, which are the ones that are supposed to go absolutely miles. This is gonna be interesting. So let's talk about the JPX 91 Hot Metal Pro version first. Now the difference between the Hot Metal Pro and the Hot Metal is this is supposed to be a little bit more for the better player. It's still someone who is obviously mid to high handicap range, but it does have a little bit thinner of a top line, but it's still it's still pretty thick. Now looks this club, it's really nice. I do prefer the forged version and you can see it is more of a player's improvement iron. No problems there though. From a dress for a, for a player's improvement iron, it's not actually that thick in comparison. It's still fine. I'd still be very happy to hit this but it's not too bad it's got a bit of a glare but it is really really nice in terms of the players improvement iron now what I will say is we've been given a graphite shaft for this so I don't know what the numbers are gonna say so it's gonna be very interesting but we'll see how far I can get this 7 iron out there before we do that let's talk about the tech of the JPX 91 hot metal and hot metal pro now, Mizuno say that the JPX 921 hot metal irons pair Mizuno's fastest ever ball speeds with a piercingly straight ball flight and controllable landing angles. The third generation of Mizuno irons to utilize the resilience of chromoly. The JPX 921 has the most complex face geometry to date for additional energy from the club face. Choose the more pro version for a more compact profile with reduced offset. So, as I said, the pro version is more for a compact, maybe someone with a bit better of a ball striking, but either way, they're still supposed to be promoting fast ball speeds, so they're supposed to really be able to get out there. So, I'll first just hit a few shots before I put it on the launch monitor and see how it feels. Right, well, you can see, I can't really hit these. I don't know if it's the shafts or if it's just my personal preference, but I'm not really getting the best ball striking and the best dispersion for them. It'll be interesting to see what these numbers say on the Skytrack launch monitor because it's not exactly like they're, I'm blading them or anything. They're just a little bit bad in terms of ball striking. But let's put this one on the Skytrack launch monitor and see how far I can get it. 
So I've hit a few balls with these and they do go a long way. Like I can't not say that. They're going around 195 to 200, maybe even the 205 mark for a seven iron, which is a pretty long way in comparison to the 170 yards that I was getting for the JPX 91 Tour. 35 yard difference. Don't hit these as well. I never put these in my bag. I, I, although I use them a long way, they're going all over the place. So it's quite interesting for a uh, game improvement iron, they're great, they go absolutely miles. I would definitely recommend them, but that's the only the only kind of category I would put them into. They do feel really nice. The other game improvement irons that I have played, obviously Mizuno kind of tops the feel category of that, which is really good, but there are other ones that I, will pref I do prefer in comparison to this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go hit the JPX 921 hot metal, put it straight on the launch monitor and see how these two numbers can compare. So the JPX 921 hot metal is definitely a little bit bigger. You can tell it's a bit clunkier, looks a bit more like a hybrid at times, but it's still fine looking down at it. I could never play this club, but for a game improvement, it definitely looks very easy to hit. So for that higher handicapper, somebody who's looking to just get it off the ground and get it as far as they want, this is absolutely perfect. Now, just looking at the club itself, it looks amazing for a game improvement iron lot. I don't usually like these, but they've designed them really well and it's still a really good upgrade for the 919, which was, in my opinion, just a little bit rushed and not the best looking club. So let's hit this and see how it performs in comparison to the other ones. Oh, that's the best shot I've hit all day. Put the dates on the screen now. This is averaging around 195 to 200 yards, pretty much exactly the same as the Hot Metal Pro. I prefer this one. Um, it feels like I could hit this straight for about 100 shots in a row. And it's quite surprising that there's a big difference, in my opinion, between the Hot Metal and the Hot Metal Pro. If someone wants to choose between those and you're thinking which one to go with for a game improvement iron, go with the Hot Metal every single time. I know the Pro feature sometimes makes you think that you should get that one, but this one feels a lot nicer as well. So I'd recommend still hitting them both out and seeing which one you think is right for your game. But in my opinion, this one feels really, really nice. If you're in the market for the JPX 91 Tour and you're wondering if you want to choose that one or the Mizuno MP20, I'm going to hit the MP20 on the launch monitor now and see what the difference is. Now, I've got the 6 iron rather than the 7 iron, but I'll just give an overall feel and see what the club gapping's like and just the feel of the club can be compared to the, to the Tour. In my opinion, the Mizuno MP20s are really, really nice, and I do prefer them over the JPX 91 Tour. In forgiveness factor, I actually think they're pretty similar. They're, this feels better, and obviously it's a blade, it's an MB, so you would expect that, but I don't think there's too much difference in the forgiveness there. So if you're in the market for the MP20 and the JPX 91, if we're just considering the performance of the club, I would go for the MP20. Now lastly, let's talk about the price of all these irons. And they come in at £999 for a four to pitching wedge set, which in today's market isn't actually too bad and does beat quite a lot of its competitors. Now the MP20 is a little bit more expensive here, but in the comparison between the JPX 91 Tour, that's your opinion as to what you want to decide on. So, in summary, if you're thinking, I want to buy one of the new JPX 91 irons, but you're not sure which one to choose from. Here's what the Golf Finder team will say. If you're a very low handicapper, from five two into the plus one, plus two range, we would recommend the JPX 91 Tour. Obviously, with any iron set you get, we'd always say get fitted, and it goes the same with this. But if you're a low handicapper, they're the first ones that we try, along with the Mizuno MP20s. They're still amazing clubs. They're a bit more expensive, but that muscle back feel, you can't really top that with a Mizuno. Now, if you go from five upwards to maybe 15, maybe even 20 the jpx 91 forged are perfect they feel amazing as for a forged club and the ball speed that you get from a forged club is very very different here you can see the new technology that's been added means that you get a good five to ten miles an hour more ball, ball speed than the jpx 91 tool from that if you're let's say 20 handicap and up you shouldn't be looking at anything other than the jpx 91 hot metal and hot metal pro in my opinion i will always choose the jpx 91 hot metal they go very straight, they go a long way, and they just feel a little bit better than the JPX 91 Hot Metal Pro. I'm not sure as to why, it could just be a personal preference from me, but I do prefer these. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, and let us know down in the comments if you're planning to get any of the new Mizuno JPX 91 range.